Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace. I hope you all had a very Merry Christmas. It is the end of the day. Um, our family has all gone home and it was a lively bunch of people. I'm going to share with you because I showed you how I, I was fixing pig's feet for my dinner. I'm going to share with you um, what it looks like as it prog progresses and you'll see it in my dish also so I will share that. I'll show you what I ate today. Oh my goodness you're going to get to see what I ate. I never do that. A lot of people do their share what they eat in a day but I will share mine. Now I was thinking today um, is there a Santa Claus? Have you ever seen Santa Claus? Well, you know, I have a little story of when I was younger. I was told that there was a Santa Claus, there was a St. Nicholas, and um, I believed it, and my brothers would be laying in bed. We used to, when I grew up, there, we had, really, our house only had two bedrooms for a long time, and then my dad added on another bedroom and a bathroom, and a hallway and he dug out another basement because my mother felt like she didn't have a way out of the basement so he had to dig the basement out but when we were younger we would all share there was six kids maybe at the time I think there was either five or six of us probably six and um, my brothers would be laying in bed and they'd say shh go to sleep I hear hooves on the roof and we used to believe that we could hear the hooves on the roof and um, one one um, night or morning, I don't know what time it was, because I couldn't tell time yet. We didn't have digital clocks. We had only the analog clocks with the hands on it. I remember telling my mother, the big hands on the six and the little hands on the four or something like that. You know, I would tell her where they were, and then she would figure out what time it was. But... Um, I was telling you a story. <laughs> I got distracted. Jim's eating cheese. <laughs> sure, that distracted me. It did. It distracted me. You're what? modifying your story. Oh, you what if I, I went off my track. You got up in the middle of the night. Yes, I did get up in the middle of the night. Because I went to the time and I don't know what time it was. But anyways, my bedroom was um, off the dining room, and the dine my our house was built like my mother used to say it was like the modern day houses at the time. And this you got to go back. This is probably in the '60s, where houses were where you had the kitchen, dining room and living room and they were all in a straight line and then the bedrooms were off of those and ours went bathroom, kitchen, dining room, living room because my dad built a bathroom on but this is before the bathroom was there and we were um what you talking you can't talk <laughs> Michael's over there and he's supposed to shh, tell me quiet he's got his playing his game and he's got things on his ears and he's talking, talking to himself. Um, and, and I got distracted again. Okay. Um, but the house was built to where the bedrooms were all off of. And mine was off of the dining room. And um, I had to go to the bathroom really bad. You know, in Christmas Eve, you don't get up out of bed. You don't be awake because Santa might not come. And so I thought, oh, I really have to go. And I don't want to wet the bed. So I got up, and when I walked out of my bedroom, I looked to the right, and I could see Santa bending over the backside of Santa, putting presents under the tree, and I went right back to bed. I didn't go potty or nothing, and I didn't wet the bed either. But um, others would say, oh, it was your mother or your father. And I says, no, they don't even ha own an, a red robe or something. Because they if people try to tell you you didn't see what you saw. But I saw what I saw, and I know what I saw. I saw Santa Claus. And so from that day on, I always believed that there was a Santa. And nobody could convince me differently because 
I knew there was because I saw him and I know it wasn't my mom or dad. And um, I, I used to tell my kids, the minute you say there's no Santa, there's no gift from Santa. So they all played along with me or whatever. They just never said there wasn't a Santa. And if one tried, the other would remind them that, ah, uh, ah, uh, you say that, you won't get a present from Santa because there was always a present from Santa. And Santa's gifts were never wrapped. And you could tell what the gift was and who it was for because you knew he, he it was like you know what you've been asking for and you know what you liked and so you could tell and that's uh, or when they were younger there used to be group presents and it was well at my house there was group presents maybe there were here I don't remember but if there was something from Santa it was for the whole family to share we used to have and, family. and it would be like games family. or something or puzzles or something that the movies. whole family could well we didn't get movies because we didn't have wow. any movie player but when we our kids our, our kids, kids got movies yes but we didn't have there was no movie players when I was little you had to have a projector machine and a movie camera to operate they didn't have that stuff for us but our kids had the VHS tapes that they could get. Um, there was something else I was thinking of when I was telling my Santa story. I forgot now. Oh, dear. But another thing that might come back to me after I talk a little while. But I was also thinking about naming animals. What do you name your animals? Because my daughter, Emily, when she was younger, she had two um, hamsters. And she named them Mary-Kate and Ashley. <laughs> One day she comes down, she goes, Mary Kate ate Ashley! Mary Kate ate Ashley! And I go, what? And she goes, Mary Kate ate Ashley! And we went upstairs and sure enough, Mary Kate ate Ashley. It was a sad day. And so um, it's better to have just one little hamster, not two, because if one gets a little weak, the other one will eat it. And um, I remember when we were uh, we had a dog named Lady, and we could not find her. Couldn't find her and couldn't find her. And one day we were riding our bikes, and we could smell this funny smell. And um, we rode by and got off our bikes and looked to see what the funny smell was. Well, it was Lady, the dog. So we went home and said to my mother, we found Lady. She's dead on the road. We found Lady. And my mother thought it was a real Lady. So she says, well, we'll have to call the police when we get home. And I'm thinking, why are we going to call the police for our dog? <laughs> so you got to watch what you name your animals. We've had lots of pets. We've named them. My mother used to name all the cats Maggie, <laughs> if they were a girl. I did not like the name Maggie because all I could think of was, I'm sorry if anybody's name out there is Maggie, but Maggie to me sounded like maggots, and I didn't like maggots. And all the boy cats were Tommy. Every boy cat was Tommy. And then the dogs were like Jake, Pedro, Sam, Charlie, Lady, Nellie, Annie, and Ginger. And I remember Pedro. Pedro was a, a we used to, we actually used to put a Mexican hat on Pedro just for the fun of it. And he was a beagle. These were beagles. Some of them were. Annie was a poodle and Ginger was a wire-haired terrier. And Jake was a beagle. And I have a Jake. So he's a chihuahua. I can't think of what the Christmas thing was. Um, I'll have to go to the video now of the food. So let's go to that. I didn't show you when I first put the sausage in here, but this is the sausage when it's well, when it's um cooking. I put the sausage in first. That sausage is the big roaster. As you can see, I'm using a huge roaster. Then I fry up a lot of onions. Did I'm gonna, you do all four? No, I just did two because these are high carbs and I don't want more carbs in my pasta. I'm having enough pasta carbs. I don't need more onion carbs, but no, it'll be good. So there's two huge onions in there.
Okay. This is the pasta. I put it in a crock pot. Here's the sausage. And here are those pig's feet. And here is the sauce. Now, we're going to dish up and then I'll show you a dish that's dished up. Can we bring it? Is it recording? Yeah. Yep, it's recording. Good. Okay. There we are. This is my dish. Well, I wish you could have smelled my dinner. It was so good and really tasty. When um, people walk in the door, they go, wow, it smells really good in here, which it did. Well, the Santa thing or the Christmas thing, whatever I was thinking of, didn't come back. So we'll have to save it for next year. Maybe it'll come back and then I'll, I'll have to write it down and I'll share it then. So I hope you all have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.